This tutorial is going to show you how to set up new quizzes inside of Canvas. Uh, so new quizzes used to be called quizzes.next uh, when Canvas released the new uh, quiz platform. And now um, they've just referred to it as new quizzes. And they, they have kept the old quiz version, which is called uh, classic quizzes now. Uh, so we're going to walk through the steps of how to turn on new quizzes inside of your course. Uh, one thing to remember, this is course specific, meaning that you have to do this for each course you teach. Uh, so if you teach five courses, you need to follow this process five times. Uh, if you just teach one course, uh, you only need to do it once. But if you do it in one course, it will not automatically be turned on in the settings for the other courses. So notice here I've clicked on the settings tab, which is clear down here on the bottom on the course menu. Okay, and then when I go back up here to the top, there's these tabs here across the top. I want to click on the tab that says Feature Options. Okay, and in this case, this is already turned on, but if I scroll down towards the bottom in Feature Options, there's this uh, uh, line or row here called New Quizzes, and we want to toggle this on. This uh, green check mark means that, that it is turned on. Um, quiz log auditing is also turned on and actually I'm going to go ahead and turn on new course and user analytics while I'm here uh, just because that's kind of a useful thing um, and whatnot so anyway you can see that new quizzes is turned on and then the quiz log auditing is turned on as well uh, those two items specifically relate to quizzes uh, the quiz log auditing we'll talk more about later but essentially it kind of tells you if students navigate away from the page if they're taking a quiz. Essentially what that means, it doesn't really say where they went or what they were looking at, but it tells you that they might have switched to a different tab uh, or opened a different browser or something like that. And it also tells you how long a particular student was on a particular question. Uh, so anyway, we've turned on new quizzes. Uh, notice there is no save button on this page, which is kind of eerie, uh, you know, for the most part, but there is no save button. We've toggled it on. So now we're going to go over here to quizzes. So I'm just going to click on the quizzes tab in my course menu. And a couple things I want to uh, show you here before I uh, show you what the, the prompting will be like. So these quizzes here uh, that are the shaded in, like the solid rocket ships, those are the icons for quizzes uh, next or new quizzes. Uh, and then if you go down here a ways, this outline of a rocket ship this would be the icon for classic quizzes. So once you start making a variety of quizzes, if you want to know what quiz platform you're, you're using, uh, because that does kind of make a difference as far as like moderation, uh, editing, and things like that, this little icon right here will tell you uh, what quiz platform uh, that you made the quiz in. Anyway, for today, we're going to work on new quizzes. So when I hit plus quiz, now I'm going to be prompted here to choose either classic quizzes or new quizzes, okay? If I wanted, I could say remember my choice. I don't know that I would recommend doing that though. Like I personally find value in using both of these two different quiz platforms. This one has a lot of, um, I guess, more modern or newer question types and question stems uh, that really, I guess, uh, emulate like some of the things that you see on ACT and YTOP and things like that. This is more of just like your true, false, multiple choice, drop down, fill in the blank, matching, those types of things, essay questions. Uh, so this certainly has some more uh, tech integrated types of questions, uh, but this is a really good quiz tool. And most people would claim that classic quizzes is slightly better to use. So anyway, if I make my selection here, then if I hit submit, it'll take me to the, the new quizzes build platform. Uh, this is where I just uh, enter the title, uh, everything about it, like the points. One quick note, this little deal right here, it's an external tool. Leave that alone. You don't have to do anything with it. Uh, if you want to change up the attempts, you can certainly do that here. Uh, if you want unlimited attempts versus limited, if I choose limited, then it tells you know how many times do you want people to take it. Um, and this is a practice. I'm not even going to save this. And then obviously we assign it and put a due date. Uh, if I go ahead and hit hit uh, save, probably won't let me because there's no title. Uh, so we'll just put test quiz. 
And I got to add a due date, of course. I go figure. I will just have to do it tomorrow. Um, now it's going to kick me over to the build site. And then this is where I would go to build a quiz. Uh, notice it's a lot different than classic quizzes. Uh, this would be the name. Obviously, I can add instructions here. And then this would be where I would go to add questions. Okay, and then obviously after I make a question, I do need to hit update question or save for each question as I go. And then obviously if I want to do some banking, okay, those are here, or I can access those here, and I can also bank the questions as I go, uh, which that's covered more later. But in a nutshell, that is how you turn on new quizzes, uh, and that is how you access and, and get going with that. And notice too that you have the choice uh, from that point forward, whether you want to go every time you hit the quizzes button or the plus quiz button, you have the option then to choose classic quizzes or new quizzes, uh, and you can change that up uh, for whatever suits your needs at that time.